So good evening everyone. So welcome back to our Morax Facebook Live. So I'm your host today, Eddie. So tonight we have a special guest here with us, Daniel Lee. And he also is a KL Bar coordinator and also a Paralympic athlete. So thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Okay. So before we start this topic, let's please remember to like and share our Facebook page and our Facebook Live. And also you can follow us on Twitter, IG, YouTube, or oh, yeah. yeah. And for tonight, we also have a special section for you. And we are giving out a prize for you guys. But they have a... Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a cash. Mm. You have to answer the questions. So whoever who first answers the question will get a free prize. And now you'll be wondering, what is the prize? If you want to know what the price is, please stay here until the end. So for so we start off with uh, Daniel. Can you like introduce yourself first? Uh, well, my name is Daniel. I was born with a condition called osteogenesis imperfecta, basically a very scientific name for brittle bones. So it means that my bones break like glass. Um, I am currently training with the hopes of qualifying for the Paralympic Games in the sport of wheelchair racing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. First off, I, I just want to say, uh, you know, at this at this first time hosting. Yeah, so he's a bit nervous. <laughs> Don't give all the likes and the loves that you can, right? But he's doing a so a uh, good job so far, right? Comment. Comment if he's doing really a good share. job again. <laughs> so where do you come from actually? I I was born in KL, but I grew up in Pahang, uh, in Mandaka. When I was young, I moved around a lot, so I never really stayed in one place long enough to make uh, you know, childhood friends. <laughs> oh, I see. It seems yeah. like uh, we speak about space, mm. so our Malaysia is like, kind of like food paradise. Mm. So if your friend is going to like, travel to Baham, what kind of food do you will recommend to them? Oh, uh, what kind of food? I think for me, uh, I'm biased towards my hometown because I grew up there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Even a simple thing as me goreng this, this particular <laughs> shop in, in my hometown last night in Mentaka is me goreng in this Gerai uh, Nombor I don't think it's there anymore, but it's just it's so good that I, that's like my childhood memory. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so, how's your family? So, do you have any like siblings? I, I have two sisters. I'm the middle child, so sandwiched between two girls. Um, my mom and dad. Um, my dad passed away when I was 14 years old. Um, so, my mom has been my pillar of support all this while sent me to school and college and yeah and so my sisters and my mom are now you know staying together I'm on my own uh, in KL so great to know that yeah so just now you have mentioned that you have uh, this rare condition is break the bone mm -hmm. uh, did it affect you in the school time definitely because I I break bones so easily to the point where if I um, if I fall, I will break a bone. If I try to stand, I will break a bone. If I step a bit too hard on my legs, it will snap. And so as a child in school, it's a bit hard to fit in because um, I couldn't go out and play with everyone else. And children, you know, kids would connect by playing. And so for me, I never could connect that easily. Um, was bullied in school as well. People. Some of the mean classmates were called Budak Chachat, Budak Chachat kind of thing. They even did like a whole comic strip uh, about me. Thinking back again, it's like wow, they put in a lot of effort to really bully me. <laughs> but yeah, at that point in time, I didn't feel that great. You know? mm, so all these challenges, like, how do you like, cope with it? Um, number one, I really... The foundation to the things that I have today is really the love and care of my parents. So they have always assured me that they love me, and that I have value in life, I can be successful in life, and that is really the thing that that got me through a lot. You know, they taught me not to care about people's opinion, but focus on what I want. Yeah. So it's good to have a good family. Yeah. yeah. And I would consider myself very fortunate, very blessed, uh, because not everyone has that kind of uh, privilege to have a family like that. Yeah. So anyway, I heard that you have been not just an athlete, mm -hmm. and you also do like motivational speaker, mm -hmm. and you also been invited to like TED Talk, and you also have been contributing like you development is that true? Yeah, um, I think because of yeah, you know, I was really shy as a kid when I was 
I got into college when I was 16, a bit younger. I was part of a PTS thing that I skipped one of the, the standard four. Um, so when I got to college, I was very young. I was a young kid, very shy because I never really interacted with people. Um, I always waited for people to say hi to me first. I'll never say hi to people. But I guess because of how people have made me feel welcome and they built, uh, helped build my confidence, I, I felt a need to now give back. And so for a long time, I realized that when I spoke, it helps people, it encourages people. And I also went into leadership development later on um, in a company called Leaderonomics. And my job was to uh, nurture youth leaders. And so for me, I think a lot of it is because of the, the things people have done for me when I was younger. And that got me to have a passion to do a similar thing to people. Oh, I see. So since you're talking about youth, Mm. Like, what do you think about this generation, like, this kind of youth, like, uh, what they are lack of, like, what they need to, like, improve, and what kind of things that, like, currently they need now? I think, uh, you know, when people describe, you know, oh, young people nowadays, right, we, we say in a way that's so uh, cynical, um, that we actually underestimate the potential that young people have nowadays. If you look at uh, what has been happening all these decades, this is the current generation where people would resign from a high paying job to do something meaningful in life. That's true. This is the generation where people would sacrifice everything for a cause that they believe in. For better or for worse, we, we talk about all some of the, the political things that maybe people might not want to talk about. But for better or for worse, young people want to make a change today. And I think we should really value them and not underestimate the, the, the kind of impact that young people can make. Okay, so as I mentioned in the beginning that you have a free gift for you guys all. So, but the catch would be you have to answer the quiz. So, for the first question that we are giving out for the careful quiz will be this one. Nice. This is a fabulous, good Forex Jesse. Mm -hmm. So, you, you want to get this, please, but answer the question. So, for the first question that will be, where the Warwick Sports Store is located at. So I repeat again, so where Warwick Sports Store is located at. So if you want the shirt, please answer the question. Yeah? Mm, answer the question to get And price. also rem remember to like and share our Facebook Live and our Facebook page. And you also can follow us on Twitter, IG and also YouTube. And if you are interested in purchasing our Warwick Sport shirt, you can find us on Lazada, Shopee, and as well as our website. Yeah, cool. So, back to the topic. So, since we're talking about like sport things, yeah. like when do you like, start taking like sport seriously? Well, um, I never thought about sports as a young kid because people always say you shouldn't be doing sports. Mm. Your bones break easily, sports is not possible at all, and I never thought it was possible. Uh, and so I actually started sports. I dipped my legs into you know, my feet into sports much later on after I graduated from from uni. And, and that's why when people say it's a uh, if if people say that you are you know it's too late for you to learn, you know to, to pick up something new, it's never too late. Because I started only when I was twenty one. And it started by me getting a new wheelchair and from there I uh, got the opportunity to participate in wheelchair runs 10km, 21km, 22km and eventually 100km later on uh, and so I got into that so somewhere around 2012 yeah so like what is the reason that you inspired to be an athlete that I want to be an athlete one day I think it started off with me wanting to, to see where I, my limits are. I've always wanted to challenge my, my limits and I've always done that. Um, but later on, I realized that it could bring a lot of change and impact for people. So I wanted to do it to inspire people. And as I participated in, in non-professional races, wheelchair races, um, I realized I have a talent in it. And that really got me thinking about seriously pursuing it as an elite athlete. So, I know 
know that this year is kind of a bit tough, like especially the pandemic happened, that everything is like getting like postponed or cancelled. Mm. That they will also uh, last like four months until like 2020, 2020. Yes. So do you manage to get like achieve something, or you want to achieve like this year? Well, um, of course, the pandemic affects people. You know, affected a lot of people all around the world, and I'm no exception. Um, and it's normal to even feel down and at some point. You know, I didn't feel like training, um, but it's always good to find a goal and a purpose. And for me, I want to qualify for next year's Paralympic Games, and I have my personal goal of hitting a specific timing by December. And so I need to shave off basically um, five seconds from my best time right now in the hundred meters. And so it's not an easy thing to do with three and a half months left but I think if you work hard you have the discipline and integrity to do it and um, plan your goals your milestones you will be able to achieve it so since you mentioned about you are going for next year the Olympics mm. you start to like training keep training yeah so right now I have um, uh, a new training regime to prepare myself for the timing that I want to achieve by end of December. Um, I have a, a team of people who has graciously come on board voluntarily to support me in my training, uh, a mental coach who does mental coaching sessions with me. And so, um, so yeah, I, I think I have all these things prepared so that I can uh, achieve the, the goal that I have by next year. So since we hear that, do you have any message or like advice that you want to give those who is with physical disability or those who actually who is kind of lost in life, mm. especially this like pandemic kind of impact all the thing like we have to stay here, stay home like almost like four to five months, mm. and we kind of like jumping in back to our comfort zone. Mm. Do you have any advice for them? I think it's. Um the first thing you need to know is that you have potential and that you have value and your value is not based on how much money you make or the kind of career you have um, you shouldn't put your value as a person in things like that and because if you take away those things then you feel depressed you know that's why when the pandemic hit it, it, is, it affects us a lot but know that you have value and always search for a purpose because we are all uh, created with a purpose in life and as we seek that purpose we also want to make impact along the way and I think really ultimately in life all of us want to to have meaning and to know that what we do uh, will have an impact so think about the value that you can give to the people around you and what you can leave behind as a legacy uh, so this time's up for the first question, for the first quiz. So let's see who is the winner here. Oh, you have so, a winner? Yeah. Okay, so, so the winner of the fantastic green jersey over there from Oryx is... Mohamed. Mohamed Jassim Hamdway. Congrats. Sorry for butchering your name, but Mohamed Jassim. Congratulations. Congrats, congrats. Uh, so, remember the PM is after the live, our customer service will be contacting you. Like, yeah. you contact with you. Yeah. Yeah. Contacting you to get your free gift. And also, remember the live and share our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And also, to follow our IG, Twitter, mm -hmm. YouTube. And you want to purchase any of our shirt, you can look at uh, our Lazada, Shopee, and also website. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, back to the topic. Mm -hmm. So, I heard that you recently like, joined KL, but is that true? Yes, so um, I've recently started a role in KL Bug um, as KL Bug's sports coordinator. And what KL Bug is, is it is a sports organization, an academy uh, that does make an impact through sports. Yeah. Okay. And so, like, how do you first know about uh, KL Bug? Like, um, I knew about KL Bug because I've been involved in leadership development and I've, all, I've also been very passionate about sports and so sports leadership development is, 
is uh, something that is close to heart. And I, I met William Chang, who was the previous national director of uh, of Kelba, uh, and from there he introduced me to the current director of Kelba, uh, Willie. And from there they offered me a role because they want to bring me in for an area called All Ability Sport, and that basically means. Uh, my focus is to look into inclusion of people with disabilities into sports and sports leadership development. Oh, cool, interesting. Oh, so back to uh, so we have another questions for you guys. So for the second question that we are giving out, the prize will be this fabulous orange jersey mm -hmm. called Weapon X. Oof, Weapon X. Yeah, this kind of fancy <laughs> name. Yeah. <laughs> so. Whoever won this shirt, he meant to remember to answer the question. Yeah. So if orange is your color, go for it. <laughs> so for the second question will be, what is the Warak, Warak website name? Like www.word.com. So I repeat the question again. So what is the Warak website name? Like www.word.com. Mm. Yeah. So you time to answer that. So back to our topic. Mm -hmm. So since you like joining like get out but um like what kind of role do you uh, in get out but? Um like I said the area of focus of mine will be all ability sport and um basically I want to create a better awareness and focus on people inclusion of people with disabilities into sports and also to bring awareness of uh, disability, parent big and adaptive sports into the, the bigger uh, society. I think a lot of times, Paralympic sports or people with disabilities have challenges, and sports give a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities and platform for them to perform for us to to really thrive. And so, um, but there is still lack of support. I think it's great that our Paralympic team has won three gold medals previously and there's a little bit more attention to it. I think uh, inclusion uh, should be more intentional so that we can nurture more people with disabilities, include them into the bigger society uh, and not just be involved in Paralympic sport but also to see value of people with disabilities uh, in, the, in the society that people like me who has a disability can also add value to the community around us. Oh, that's cool. Um, so I heard that from my understanding that get about is mainly focused on football. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, any sport that yeah, you can take part in? So get about we had our we have our counterpart uh, in Ipoh called Ipoh Bug, and over there there are plenty of sports: uh, football, ultimate frisbee, dodgeball, captain ball. Um, so for get about it started off a lot more focused on football because the people involved are passionate about football. Uh, when I come in, immediately athletics is involved because I'm a wheelchair racer. And I think athletics is great because you can be able-bodied and run alongside me on a wheelchair. You know? uh, we, we do want to be more inclusive and as we partner with different people to include more sports like self-defense, MMA, Muay Thai, you know? uh, captain ball, dodgeball, you know, ultimate frisbee, any sports and that, that is able to make an impact in the community. That's cool. So, for the last question that mm, we'll be curious about is like, what do you think about this war activity that you were wearing? Can you share about your feelings? Well, to be honest, I only knew about Warx uh, recently, and when I heard about it, I checked you guys out www. What is the <laughs> name of the website? Okay, you have to put it in, uh, and I lo looked at it and said, "Oh, all these are football jerseys." So I was like, "Okay, but I'm not a footballer. It would look, it look a bit funny if I'm a footballer, you know, in a footballer jersey and doing uh, racing." Then I realized that oh, you have a badminton series as well. Yeah, it looks really good for a runner. Uh, I really like the. The material is light, it's comfortable. I like the texture and the design of it. So, uh, no, they did not pay me to say this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, and uh, just recently knowing about you guys and wearing it itself, uh, um, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I like it a lot. Um, let's see, it's time out, time's up for the second questions. Let's see who's the winner here.
So we have more minions. Yeah, we're still looking. There's so many people answering the question that we have to to look through all the names. Yeah. So you are wearing one as well, right? Yeah, I'm wearing the Malacca series. Oh, yeah, okay. So is it like a Malacca football team series? Yeah, Malacca football team. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of comfortable as well. Because I had a friend the other day who came and then he was like from from Myanmar and he had the Myanmar national team jersey. It's like wow, so cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we have a winner here. So the winner will be... The winner who got the website right, which is warixsports.com is Prakash, Prakash Balakrishnan. Congratulations. Congratulations. You get this. Please contact the... Yeah. Was it admin? Yeah, who do you contact please contact. Like, slide, I would slide into our DM yeah. slide and our DMs. customer service will customer service be contact. Ah, uh, yes, and they'll give you yeah. your price. So, they have a message from my boss that mm. our boss decided to like sponsor the attire for your like, training. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, boss. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I really appreciate the support that you all do. And I just met you guys recently and all of you are great people. You know, okay. All the people behind the camera. <laughs> Fantastic group of people, and I really like them. No, they did not pay me to say <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, so, guys, remember to like and share our Facebook mm -hmm. page, and also follow our Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube as well. And if you're interested in purchasing our War Export shirt, you can find us on Zalada, Shopee website, and you also can walk in as well. And we also do like custom made uh, logo, uh, name as well, and numbers. So. Yeah, that's all for tonight. Mm -hmm. And we should have a good night. And have a great Friday as well. So we will see you next week. And bye bye. Bye. See you. See you.